hello guys welcome back to our channel so today i'll be talking about the first six months after childbirth yes you buy your baby you're happy and everything let's start from the hour after your childbirth you're still at the hospital definitely and you're happy and you're like oh god how am i going to do this i'm a mom now lots of emotions flooding in everybody's happy everybody's all over the baby except the mom <laughs> and not the mom brother yeah that's fine so now you're probably still in pain lots of pain you're like okay how am i going to do this i would use this video to tell you the honest truth i'm not going to sugarcoat it i'm not so yeah probably been lots of pain but then you know it's worth it you're super happy you're looking at the baby you've you've made like okay i did this yeah it's great at this moment you're trying to um, initiate breastfeeding with your baby and uh, if you're not breastfeeding you know, you've already body fed your baby all good and calm the first thing i would say is that try to get lots of rest i would advise that you give your phone to your husband and let him handle all the uh, love and all the attention and everything just give the phone to him now you need your your, your pretty babes rest you need it because you need to recover the energy you've spent you've, um, you've spent and everything so yeah lots of rest lots of fluid as well you've lost fluids definitely so you need to replenish that you need lots of fluid you need to heat properly please you need to and also now you've seen what is called discharge it's bright red at this point so yeah you're using your maternity pads for it please remember to change that as often as possible you don't want infection to set in so please try to change as often as possible so now let's say you you've done your baby's check you've done your baby's check and um your home yes you probably won't sleep the first few weeks you would not and it's very easy to say oh sleep when baby sleep i'm pretty sure we've all heard that several times like, oh you know we know it's not easy but then you have to sleep when baby sleeps excuse me it's not it's not so feasible it's not so practical only if you have lots of support when baby sleeping someone is looking after your baby and then yeah you can go sleep but if there is nobody to look after your baby there's nobody to clean up for you it's not that possible but i would implore you that you should try as much as possible to put yourself first take care of yourself and rest as much as possible don't be scared or don't be scared of delegating tasks as for me it was just my husband and i so we had to do it <laughs> we just had to so but i would say don't if you have a supportive system around you please make good use of them and uh yeah that's the first thing the second thing i would want to say is that visitors i would personally advise that limit visitors for the, like the first few days limit visitors so that you can actually take care of yourself you could permit visitors that would be helpful <laughs> you know some visitors would come and you'll still be the one doing them visitor that's that's what we say it's in like in nigeria you're doing the visitor you're showing a lady no visitors that will come and see you and want to take care of you i think those are the ones that you should actually permit to come visitors that will come and will say well do you want me to help you with do you want me to help you clean do you, do you want me to help you cook don't try and stand to say that oh yeah visitor you have to start cooking for your visitor and everything for me i would say don't entertain such visitor and i would also say that you should prioritize your baby any visitor that is coming should please maybe wear face mask if they have a cold if they have a cold just stay at home no point coming no but you kiss your baby i think that all these things you should go through them and discuss them with your husband before you have the baby so that nobody will be shocked i think that's where you can really say okay if anybody's coming nobody kissing the baby they were expect to carry the baby don't do this don't do that lay down your rules you invite your baby if anything happens there was a time that um this viral infection was going on i've forgotten the name it's so bad i think it was really prevalent in the winter it's so bad and just 
kissing the baby you can just transfer to the baby and babies were not really surviving it i was super scared honestly i was super scared so you want to definitely protect your baby and um yeah prioritize you and your baby lots of rest lots of fluid good food as well i would advise you not to start with heavy meals because if you uh, let's say it's a vaginal birth and you've got a tear or not actually <laughs> but passing your first two it could be tedious tedious and painful so to make it easy for you eat lots of fibers lots of fruits drink lots of water so that's one the water will dilute your urine it wouldn't stink and i would even though even though you're doing that i would say that whenever you're going to do maybe passing urine or anything all um, take like water with you so as you're weighing you're washing down you're washing down and that way you would not even feel a stink at all and for the other one i would say eat lots of fruits lots of water and avoid bulky, bulky food for now yeah that's that um about the tender <laughs> part yeah for the look here that's the discharge you see you probably see it for i think six weeks some some would stop maybe two weeks three weeks depends on your body but most of the time it stops at six weeks so we yeah, expect that if you have sutures be careful do use hot water to wash down there just look on water is enough wash often keep it clean if you're comfortable enough or your spine is comfortable enough let him help you check it often if not just wait till your health still can do it for you if there's a breakdown go to the hospital let them know any concern you have let them know as well so yeah i'm not gonna lie you're probably not going to sleep for the first few weeks you have to like accept that process it now and accept it you are not going to sleep for the first few weeks you might get like one or two hours sleep at most that's really but i think that's usually for the first two weeks you would not really sleep that's why you have to like hydrate a lot and try to take the little nap you can get as well um yeah babies would be whining and crying and milk and this and that and if you're lucky to have a very cool baby quiet baby not crying not whining just mm, mm, enjoy it and try to rest but then the first week is usually very chaotic expect that as that then moving on now remember in the previous video i made i talked about um you buying few clothes at the birth of the baby and progressing as they grow you increase your purchase uh the, the clothes you purchase as they grow so yeah in the in the second to third week now you might have added some fat definitely don't forget so you have to check okay is size still okay size one still okay if a baby is leaking if the nappy is leaking and everything it might have to do with the um one the brand of nappy you're using to the sizing and then three the clothes you're putting on it sometimes the nappy can be right it can be the right size but then the clothes you're putting on maybe the body is too tight let's say you're wearing a, a newborn size for your baby that's already like five kg the clothes would be tight already so it would be putting pressure on the nappy and then it would leak there's no way it won't leak it would leak so you have to make sure that as they're growing you're checking is this still okay is this not okay that then what else do i want to talk about in the first one month yeah if your baby has a sibling maybe it's the second or the third child oh my god you know what's going safeguarding <laughs> safeguard your baby from that toddler in particular <laughs> If a baby is a toddler, oh my god. One, it's, in, it's in two ways. One, your baby might so much love the baby. Your toddler might so much love your new baby and would be around him a lot of times. Or your baby could be jealous and be like, who is this Vichito? Do we have a guest? But one thing I would say to prevent that situation is that before having your child, where your tummy is big and protruded, have a conversation with your toddler. Let your toddler know that, oh, baby, we are expecting another baby. Do you want a brother? Do you want a sister? Oh, I think you're getting a brother. 
now you're a big brother see so yeah you have to have that conversation with your toddler don't just bring a new baby and expect a more to just be warm towards the baby no you have to prepare them for that as well and the transition with them is seamless once you've done all the preparation so if you've done that you probably have a a toddler that is very loving and welcoming to the baby now if you have a toddler that is loving and welcoming as well you have to be very careful <laughs> you know why because this toddler would think that the newborn is is mixed and will be doing the things that he would do so yeah i have a toddler and i have a newborn my toddler wants to play with my baby as though he's two years old you so you have to when i said safeguard in the other time you can't leave both of them together oh, i'm not even saying leave them together if that if your baby is down there in maybe in, in this court and you see your toddler just walking by look observe notice look at it i can promise you give lots of stop that don't do that it's a baby don't do that you can't do that yet so prepare for that if you have an older child at home and if you don't enjoy your baby the i think the baby time is still the easiest time so far honestly when you're at that point you would say oh i think this is the worst period of so far do you understand but then when you grow when you come to toddlerhood hmm in retrospect you'd be like okay i think their babyhood is not so bad their infanthood is not so bad so yeah enjoy this time with your baby read to your baby sing to your baby this time i think around three months two months they can see black and white so sing to them all these activities um help to um develop their language and speech center and that um yeah yeah so after birth we talked about that we talked about breastfeeding yeah when your milk comes in hmm you probably be engorged so uh, some people would say oh express everything to me i would say don't express everything because when you express everything that's you telling your body that's telling your brain that okay my baby just sucked everything i need more so that that rate of supply would continue but what i did when my milk came in was I put my baby to breast breastfed him for some time i stopped i used pcm I, I, to endure the pain then I continued breastfeeding again, but I was putting intervals so that my baby, my brain, and my body would understand that body, my baby can't take everything you're bringing. Calm down. And my body got the message. It's regulated. You probably um, managed that and got breast for maybe two or three days. You would feel like you are sick. You'd be shivering and everything. Yeah, that could happen. But if you do it the way I said, don't just express everything because you want instant relief. It's a bit too much. So don't do that. Put the baby to breast. Stop when baby is okay. And just end here and use a painkiller. That's your your body would recognize that, okay, yes, this is what baby needs. And it would then adjust and you'll be fine. That's that about your milk let down. What else is there to know? changing of nappy i think i should have practiced this before having your baby so that you won't be um, stuck in the hospital you might not have the nurses to ex uh, to teach you everything yes during your during your antenatal they will tell you oh when you get get the midwife we have a breastfeeding midwife that will show you how to do this that will show you how to do that i would personally advise you don't rely on that because my first breath i did not even see anybody after the, nobody said okay this one that one no yes i'm a nurse but then i'm not a midwife and also they didn't even know i was a nurse until okay let me just chip this one in they were not so nice to me until i was like oh i'm a nurse they were like oh really i'm a nurse then so as i was saying prepare for, prepare for everything practice putting on a nappy maybe get a teddy bear then put it on not just your husband also because bro you have to divide the, the responsibilities if you're breastfeeding you definitely know that your husband can breastfeed so that's definitely yours so what you can help out with is the nappy change and everything delegate like i said delegate you can't do everything alone both of you are the parents do you understand so delegate as you're learning how to do the nappy let him learn as well could you please do the nappy let's see practice 
breastfeed and you have to practice how to breastfeed uh, how you should hold your baby the ways of holding figure out the ones that are comfortable for you before you have your baby so this will make the immediate postpartum very seamless and easy for you yes it will be a bit difficult because it's a new world it's a whole new journey but then it will still be better you would i believe that you would adapt very fast yeah then talk about nappy change talk about that so yeah and before you know it your baby would grow fast don't forget to take your baby to their um to the gp when needed for their vaccines and also the checkups please make sure you do all that just do what is best i know that we have some non vaxxers but it's fine do whatever you feel is best for your child and don't forget to always protect them so now most people um introduce solid food before the age of six months however six months is the recommended time for solid food so yep i would advise waiting for six months around the six months your baby is very playful now always talking all she doesn't have talking or blabbing always blabbing and shouting i think they, i think they love their voice <laughs> honestly so now you can really play with your baby your baby is so sociable your baby is smiling and everything and you'll be like wow just yesterday i had this baby and now you can really interact with me and everything and trust me you would really enjoy it and i'm telling you these babies grow up super fast so i want you to enjoy the whole process that first year enjoy it immerse yourself in it because you're not getting it back honestly and they grow up super fast so enjoy your baby uh, your baby and the baby together enjoy take pictures take videos so they can look back and be like okay the journey so far yeah what else do you need um i think that's it for now and also if you're planning to go back to work fast and you want to put your baby in nursery yeah in the uk you have to book ahead there are limited spaces so you might want to, as soon as you're having a baby you might want to check the nurseries around, register on the waiting list and put this in place. I think that's literally it for now. If you have any question, please do not forget to put it in the comment section. I'll do my best to respond. And forget <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe, like and also share this video. Let me know any video that you want me to do or to make. Either it's addressing my experience as a mom, as a nurse, as a working mom, or as a married woman, or as a mom of two. Yeah, anything you want, any request you want, just put it down there and we'll try to do justice to it. Yeah, thanks for having us. Bye.